All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Titus, Mid Valley Mercenaries. I'm gonna start this video out with a little sad story. So once upon a time, last season, 2018, 2019 season, it was a stormy day, overcast, no wind, which is weird, right? And there was no birds, absolutely zero birds. I didn't make a video of it. Anyways, I hadn't bought decoys in several years, uh, quite a long time. But finally I decided, hey, I'm gonna buy some GHG Pros. If you wanna see those decoys, it was a video we did right before the season last year. That'll be right here. Super nice decoys, look good. I think I had widgeon, I had pintails, all kinds of good stuff. Well, uh, we were in Thomas's truck and we put the, I'm not gonna mention any names, that there was four of us there. I don't know who it was that didn't properly put the decoy bag full of two dozen decoys in the truck properly, got home, unloading everything, no Titus's decoys. Thomas's decoys were there, Travis's decoys were there, but Titus's were nowhere, nowhere to be found. But anyways, I'm not blaming anybody. Thomas! <coughs> but uh, anyways, so we're not blaming anybody, but. So you know what that means? I had to buy some more decoys, and this time I'm not gonna let that happen again, but I'm just gonna do an unboxing for you. I have never bought Tangle Free decoys before. So this is something new for me. I've seen Tangle Free's decoys uh, for their diver series and they're actually super legit, very nice. We hunted over them when we were in Wisconsin doing layout boat hunting and stuff and I was like, wow, these look really good. Um, so this is gonna kind of be the first, I looked at them online, but this is like the first initial uh, reaction, I guess, to this. So let's go ahead and open this up. I don't think I've ever seen these in person. Right, these are the green wing tills. So let's see what we got here. All right, all right. Those don't look bad at all. Those look pretty nice. I like it, real super matte um, finish. I don't know, what do you guys think? They actually got di actual divots instead of being just black spots right here. It's actual whole like kind of grooves for the, the black spots in the chest. But I like this. It's not flashy, not shiny. It's not going to give off a sheen because like you guys know, in one of my videos I've done before, I spray like flat um, clear coat or whatever on it or matte clear coat. But these will definitely not even need that. And I don't think, honestly, I'm going to scratch it. I don't see paint coming off. Oh, a little bit. Maybe just a smidge on the back. I might have to shoot these too. It's funny because it's not doing it anywhere in here. It's not doing it on the head. But uh, the kill looks good. It's got like thicker. If you notice, it goes from skinny to thicker in the front. Um, guys, too, by the way, go ahead and comment down below if any of you guys are used Tangle Free and what you think about them and how long they've lasted. Throw it down there. I'll just be curious what you guys say. I guess I could have did something like that beforehand before I spent the money on, the, I think, two dozen decoys. Because literally, I was literally out. It was like all my decoys and that sad story. So anyways, I'm just kind of giving everybody a hard time. We don't really know what happened in that situation. All I know, actually, we were thinking when we ate in a restaurant, even though we backed up to it and was super close, we were thinking maybe even someone stole them out of the back. So I don't know. I'm just giving them a hard time. Now, this is the, the Pro Series. I believe that's what they're calling it. And these are carved by Michael R. Braun. So, you know, hand carved. But I like them. They look pretty good. My, um... What decoys were those? Those were actually the Avian X's, their um, green wings. The way their head was in the water, it looked like the bird was dead and I didn't like using those. I didn't even throw them in the water, which it may not matter, but that's just me. This is nice too. If you guys watch your motion duck thing, um, this is nice to hook the motion ducks thing up to. It's easier than trying to get it in between here and, and hook it, um, but you can hook it right here on the end. So that's pretty nice too and wrap these up. So yeah, I like these. So that's the green wing. Let's pull a hen out of here. One thing I did notice online, the neck, see like this, I can tell now, I definitely see how narrow and kind of, I don't know, that just looks a little bit, that doesn't look bad though. I mean, the coloring's good. I like the coloring, I like the paint job. The neck just looks a little off, just a little bit, maybe because that ridge or bump right there, but all in all, I mean, from 30 yards up and the birds looking at it, I, I think it actually looks really good. So I'm good, I'm happy with the um, green wing teal. See what else I got. You guys are gonna love the last one. I just can't wait to show you my last one here. All right, next up, ba ba, blue wing teal. First impressions. I like it. 
I got I like how they're doing this paint job although like I said I think I don't know you guys tell me how the paint holds up on them if you guys have them but I definitely like the paint job I definitely like the mold and the shape of it the keel I've heard they fly they swim really good in the water so all in all I think it looks good honestly what do you guys think think it looks good hopefully you can see it here's the top you got the keel if you guys are looking to purchase these yourself um, you can take my pin, take it or leave it, but um, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. And I like how they actually really make the, the impressions in it instead of it just being like black spots. They actually, it's actually pushed in. So obviously there is uh, four drakes and two hands in each box. Just a hand, ain't nothing special. But that's what it looks like if you guys are wondering. I, I think it looks fine. They definitely get very... They get more detail. Like, I love Avian X. Avian X really goes the distance with um, the paint job and that you can't, you cannot scratch the paint off of Avian X hardly at all. These are actually molded. You can tell, like, it dips in and stuff. Also, hear that? That's definitely not as hard as the um, GHG Pros. They're super loud and noisy and hard. Let's see what this sounds like. If you bump these together, like, they're in the cart. See, that's not, that's not. That's not like the GHGs, but it's still harder than the Avian X's. Let's try this out. Oh yeah. See, it's wearing, it, it's not wearing on this one, but this one a little bit. So I'm, I definitely think you might want to spray these. That's just my first impression. For the moment you've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Haters gonna hate. The pride, this should be my thumbnail right here, is just me smiling with total joy in my heart because I got a shoveler decoy. No, in all reality, guys, the reason I did buy these is look at the colors, right? You got bright green, you got that, that bright chestnut color, and then the white, of course, they're drawing. If you go out to a refuge or whatever, you're gonna, the first thing you're gonna spot is those shovelers uh, late in the season or even when the season's over because of the bright colors. So I would say the reason I bought these is a super good drawing power for whatever bird comes in. I'm not, just because I have a shoveler decoy doesn't mean I'm trying to draw in the shovelers. Hey, if they come in, they come in. Look it. Live birds in the spread are going to draw more birds. So if the shovelers come in and we don't want to shoot shovelers because there's a lot of other birds, then yeah, we'll let them in there in the spread and swim around. If there ain't birds flying, guess what? Shovelers are dying. I like the coloring. I like it. Looks like a good job to me. Looks legit. True to size. Let's pull a hen out of the box. I'm sure there's nothing special. Actually, I like the hens on these too if you're, if you're going to say you like a hen. Cause look at they don't go too crazy with the colors of the hen it's actually really to me it looks like legit hen color of a shoveler and then the the, the bill that's another thing that's going to stand stand out versus like a blue wing or green wing they're just black bills that orange stands out it's just another thing man to add to the spread so to wrap up this video i so far i mean until i put it to the test i'm pretty happy with the coloring with the shape the size, everything, I think it looks really good. I like the way the kills are and that the holes seem like they're a little bit oversized so you can get stuff hooked or unhooked a lot easier. I like it, honestly. That's my first impressions. Maybe I'll do a video if you guys want after season's over, after I've been using them. And if I don't lose them, we can do another video after that. I like them. And uh, my goal here, my plan is, I do got another box of Greenings. I just didn't open it because I already showed you guys. But my plan and goal is to do two things. I, I think sometimes, a huge spread is very beneficial and then I think there's times where two three decoys are just as good in a certain situation so that being maybe if you're hunting mallards in a really super small little pocket we put as many as just one or two decoys out because if you overfill that small little pocket that may only be 15 foot in diameter or super small you're not gonna get another bird to land they end up landing behind you or in another little pocket because they don't want to be overcrowded so but that's mallards these birds are different and I can tell you at the refuges here in California, I've seen so many birds flock into the numbers, right? So even coots, like I didn't have it, but I got some in my garage, but I didn't, I'm not going to put it in the video. But like coot decoys for confidence, and some people even use like a snow goose or two for a decoy to put in there. So anyways, when it calls for it, I'm going to use a ton of decoys we're going to put out. And what I like, here's the benefit of this, is I can stick two to three of these, whether it's teal or whether it's uh, the shovelers, I can stick three of these if I use a slotted bag in one hole and they're way lighter than say a mallard or a gadwall or anything like that. So 
that's that's my thinking right now is to go light and meaning if we want the big birds and we want to throw out a different type of spread Thomas has all the widgeon, the mallards, and the pintail. I just stocked up on the small birds to create that big look. So depending on the situation. All in all, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. Guys, uh, if you like a podcast and you like to talk, hear guys talk about waterfowl and tips, tricks, um, how hunting is going in people's area, check out the MVM show. Um, I'm the host. Thomas is the co-host, my brother. We have a great time. I'm serious. The guests we've had on, we've had Duck Gun Chronicles. We've had Freelance Duck Hunting. That one's coming up soon. Uh, I think we're up to 17 episodes now. Maybe by the time you watch this, we'll have more. So it's going really good. Can't believe um, all the downloads we're getting already. And that's thanks to um, Jordan and Elliot over at Duck Gun Chronicles and Freelance Duck Hunting. If you guys want to check them out. Um, we got some big things in the making, guys. Big things. And if you listen to the podcast, you're going to get extra stuff out of that that you don't get in, say, like our videos and stuff. You're going to get the behind the scenes. You're going to get just straight up duck hunting conversation with some guys that love it. And that's their passion. Sitting around, drinking coffee, having a good time, talking duck hunting. So check the MVM show out. It's on iTunes and um, all other platforms, Spotify, anything else you want to listen to it on. So check that out. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see some awesome duck hunting films, um, we've done it for two years now. You can check out our 17-18 season and then our 18-19. Get ready to have our 19-20 season. Our third season, can't wait. It's going to be epic. It's going to be a great time, guys. So um, if you don't want to miss that, Subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell right there and make sure you don't miss one single episode. So guys, I hope this helped you out. Maybe gave you an overall look of Tangle Free decoys. Oh, all in all, I'm happy with it. Can't wait to use them. We'll see you guys later. <laughs>